There's a lot of conflicting advice out there regarding forming an LLC as a real estate investor. Some people say that you need it right away, others say you don't need it at all. The truth lies somewhere in the middle, as do most things. In today's video, I'm gonna explain the purpose an LLC really serves and then give you my opinion as far as if you need one before your first real estate deal. If you are new to the channel, my name's Justin Yarong. I'm a real estate investor and entrepreneur here in Las Vegas. I've made hundreds of videos teaching people about real estate and the goal of this channel is to help you grow your money and mindset. Also, if you want to see more personal content, follow me on Instagram at Justin Yaron. So before I start, let me just put a disclaimer out there that this is not legal advice. Everything I'm about to say is just my opinion and my perspective on this situation, this topic. This is for entertainment purposes only. This is not legal advice. I just want to put that out there. Now, first off, what even is an LLC? In the most basic terms, LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. So in the most basic sense, if you were to form an LLC and you have now this business entity instead of operating business in your own name, if you were somehow to get sued or if you had to pay back a creditor some money and you defaulted on that money and you couldn't pay them back and they got you in trouble and sued you, they couldn't come after your personal assets. So they couldn't come after things like your personal bank account or your personal home or things like that that are in your personal name that are owned under your name. However, they can still come after everything that's under your LLC. So for example, if you own properties in your LLC and your LLC gets in trouble, gets sued or whatever, then that person can come after your assets that your LLC owns. So they can come after your LLC bank accounts. They can come after the homes that you own under your LLC. But your personal stuff, it's protected. That's the whole purpose of having an LLC. And that's why a lot of attorneys push you to have an LLC. Now, when it comes to forming an LLC for your real estate investment business, there are really two main benefits. The first of those benefits I've already described, it's having limited personal liability. So if you get in trouble and you're operating under your LLC, you're doing business under your LLC name, your personal stuff is protected. So that is the number one benefit. That's why everyone recommends you to have one. The second benefit to having an LLC is credibility. So it establishes a sense of professionalism. Just by having an LLC, you now have an actual business, you have a business name, and customers or clients or homeowners in this case, if we're talking about real estate investing, they're gonna start to take you more seriously once they know that you're an actual business owner and it's your business that you're operating from, not just playing with your individual names. And although I am listing credibility and professionalism as a pro or as a benefit to having an LLC, it honestly doesn't matter that much because the biggest and the main benefit is just protecting your personal assets. That's really what an LLC is for. I just wanted to throw that out there. And as far as the downsides go of having an LLC, it costs money. That's really the only downside to having an LLC. The amount of money that it takes to form an LLC or to maintain an LLC completely depends on your state. And in California, at least, I know it's $800 every single year. That's what I'm paying for my LLC. And it's gonna be different in every state. I have no idea what the other states charge. Maybe I should, but I don't. So now that you know what an LLC is, is a little bit more about the pros and the cons about it. Let me explain my opinion as far as do you need it before your first real estate deal? And it really depends on your intentions as the investor. If this is something that you know you can commit to for the long term and you know you wanna be in a real estate investor forever, then get the LLC, set it up right away. That's my recommendation for you. However, if this is something that you're just testing out, you're just kind of feeling the waters, trying to get your foot in the door, trying to see if you like real estate investing and flipping houses or buying rentals or wholesaling or whatever. If you're just testing it out, I'll tell you, you don't really need it. In this situation, you don't need the LLC at the very beginning because you don't know if it's something that you're gonna do for the long term. So if that sounds a little bit more like your situation, just make sure you have enough insurance for you and your comfort level until you have the proper legal structure of an LLC. Keep in mind, this is completely my opinion. An attorney will tell you something very different, but I'm speaking to you as a friend, not as an attorney, not as someone who has something to benefit off of you. I'm just sharing this advice as a friend. Because look, when I bought my very first rental property, it was my first property ever. I bought it under my personal name. There is no LLC attached. I ended up holding onto that property for two years, sold it, and nothing went wrong. I had really good tenants. You know, I had to fix a couple things here and there, but I didn't get sued, so maybe I 
don't have that perspective as far as someone trying to come after my personal assets, but I didn't need it because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time, and I just wanted to start. And it never hindered me to start without an LLC. But by the time I bought my second property, I already had my LLC form. So I didn't have it formed for the first property, and I did that for two years. And then I formed the LLC, and I was like, hey, maybe I should get one now that I'm buying multiple properties. And this actually was still the advice that I got from my attorney. I think at the very beginning, he suggested for me that I didn't really need an LLC at the very beginning until maybe I got multiple properties. But that was his advice as a friend. Yes, he's an attorney, and he would benefit by telling me that I needed the LLC right away. But he kind of told me, like, look, it doesn't really matter so much. Just like get the deals. And as soon as you kind of build up those properties, that's when you should really start thinking about getting an LLC to protect your personal assets. Now that you know my opinion on LLCs and if you should get one or not, let me give you the most important piece of advice in this video. Do me a favor, keep this video rolling, and I wanna give you five to 10 seconds to decide whether or not you will get an LLC or if you will not get an LLC. And I will wait with you, I will sit and stare at you just like this, but decide right now if you should get an LLC or you should not. I'm waiting. So, hopefully by now you've decided that you either want to get an LLC or not. And the reason why I wanted to put you through that exercise is because most new investors get stuck on this step. A lot of people think that, okay, if now I need an LLC, they try to worry about all these different things of, okay, how do I form it? Who do I go to? Can I do it myself? Do I need an attorney? They think of all these different possibilities and things, and it prevents them from doing the one most important thing, finding their first deal. If you don't find your first deal, nothing else matters, not this video, not the LLC, not business cards, nothing. Nothing else matters. You have to find the first deal if you want to make money in this business. So look, if you decided that you do want to get an LLC because you know you can commit to this real estate investing thing for the long term, then act fast. I want you to identify the next step that you must take, which is likely reach out to an attorney to set up your LLC. Of course, you can do it yourself, but that might take longer. You might spend a lot of extra time trying to figure it out when you can just go to the professional to set it up for you. And if you don't know an attorney, ask other investor friends of yours. If you don't have other investor friends, ask your family members if they know attorneys or ask if they know realtors because likely those realtors are going to know attorneys. But if you decided that you want to get the LLC, get it fast, act fast, take action, determine what your next action step is and take it, don't delay. I don't even care if you have to stop this video and call your attorney or an attorney. Well, I'll care a little bit, but not too much because I know you're gonna be taking the right action steps. And if you were in the other boat and you decided that you do not want to get an LLC, then immediately shift your attention to focus on finding your next deal. Because if you want success as a real estate investor, and if you want it fast, your time, energy, and attention has to be focused on finding your next deal all the time. Also, if you want help to grow your real estate business, whether you are brand new or if you already have deals under your belt, DM me the word coach on Instagram at Justin Wrong. Peace.